Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL session with Learn at No Star. In today's session, we are going to be transposing the data from columns into rows. That is, we are going to be performing the unpivot operation. We have already done a video on the pivot operation. So if you want to check that out, then you can click on the link above. So we are going to be doing something here, which is reverse of the pivot operation. A pivot operation basically converts your data from multiple rows into distinct columns. What we are going to be doing here today is converting the data from multiple columns into multiple rows. We are going to be using the SQL unpivot operator to write a SQL query. So let's get started. We are going to be working with the sales data. And as you can see, we have certain columns in this table, something called the category, and then you have yearly sales values. Now these yearly sales value appear in their own distinct columns and the column headings are the years. So you can see that there are separate columns for 2015, 2016 and so on till 2020. Now what we want to achieve is to convert these distinct sales values in these separate columns into multiple rows. So basically what we are trying to achieve is something like this where we have the categories and then we have a column that has the values for the year and then another column called sales which has the corresponding sales value for that year. So we can achieve this using the SQL unpivot operator. So let's get started. So the first step that we're going to perform is simply select these columns, the uh, columns that are required for an unpivot operation from the table. So for this example, we have only these columns. You might be having extra columns as well that you do not need for unpivot operation. So you can write your query accordingly. So the first step is to select these columns, select category and the different columns as you can see are called 2015, 2016, 2017. 2018, 2019, and 2020 from dbo.sales. Now, if I go and execute this query, what you uh, actually observe is that we haven't got the sales values. Instead, we have got column headings, which are actually no column names. And then you have got the values that we specified here, which were supposed to be our column headers. And we have got them as values of these different columns. Now this has happened because you have to give some escape characters to identify column names that contain only numbers. So what we need to do here is we have to enclose these within square brackets so that SQL can identify these as columns and not constant values. So I am going to put the square bracket for all the columns that we need over here. All right, and now if I run this query, again, you will see that I have got these different columns as the column headers as they were supposed to be and then I've got the corresponding sales values for the different categories. Now once I have created this query I'm going to make it as a sub query and I'm going to give it some name. So let's call it uh, let's call it sales or oric sales something like that and then I'm going to use my unpivot operator. So unpivot simply just write that unpivot keyword and then you have to define your unpivot columns and unpivot values. So the unpivot columns for us are going to be these column names, which is the year name or the year number. So 2015, 2016, 2017, 18, 19, and 20. We want these to be appearing as a separate column called year or whatever name we want to give it. And these values to appear in that column. And then we want to create another column which has the value for the sales, which is corresponding to these years. So you have to put a bracket and then you have to specify your unpivot value. So the value for us is going to be these sales figures. So you can give it any meaningful name for us. We are going to call it sales. So sales is what we are going to fetch from these unpivot values. And then these sales that we are going to fetch are going to be defined in these columns, which are which we are going to call as years. So for year in, and then you have to define your column headers, which you're going to unpivot. So our column headers are going to be these year numbers. And we have to escape them using the square brackets because we have to make sure that SQL identifies them as column headers and not some constant values. And then you just need to close your bracket and then just close another bracket and give this 
clause or the sub table that you have created some name so we can call it unpivot sales and once we have created these two tables then we just need to go and write a query to select the necessary columns from these uh, sub tables that we have created so the first one that we're going to select is going to be category and then we want to select the year the year value so we are going to select year so that has to be the same name that we have given over here and then we're going to select the values which for us have been collected in a column called sales so i'm just going to put sales over here and just say from and then we can execute this query now if you execute this query all right we can see that we have got the results as we desired so you can see that there is something called the category there has been a column created called year and another column created called sales and we have the corresponding values coming now in rows instead of the original setup that we had where we had the values coming in as columns so for each category each year combination we have the corresponding sales value appearing over here so this is the way we can unpivot the data the only thing that we need to identify is the unpivot column and the unpivot values give them some names in this uh, query and just use the unpivot operator it's as simple as that now one thing that we need to remember about this unpivot operation is that how it treats the null values so what i have done is i have gone back to the dbo sales table and updated the value for hot drinks category year 2016 as null so you can see now here that the value for 2016 is null now what happens when we execute the same query for unpivoting on this data so what is going to happen let's check out so I've executed this query now and if you take a closer look at the data, you will find that now we do not have that uh, record for the column that had the value as null. So that record is not present in the output. So this is how the underwood operator treats the null values. It actually drops those records or columns, uh, the columnar data for which the value is none so that is one thing that you need to remember when you're going to use the unpivot operator for converting or transposing the values from different columns into multiple rows so this is all about the unpivot operator i hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks a lot again for watching this video stay safe and see you soon